Now, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and we're going over today the YouTube music strategy that I feel like most people should be doing, but I don't know why they aren't, particularly if you have a project. As a matter of fact, we can start from here. Look, look at this, look, look at this. This thing is beautiful. So many companies pay so much money to get all of this advertising space, right? This is what it is, advertising space that you're seeing on the side of this project. Why is that important? Because if you had your project up here on YouTube like this and people could see that you had other work like this, you had other related things, you would get a lot more looks, right? So let's bring it back a little bit. With this particular video for YouTube strategy is uploading your videos, putting them into a playlist, a specific type of playlist, which I'll do a separate video, literally walking you through each step of the setup so that people can actually see that when they come to your videos, particularly for a project, look, this is for a project, the exact same project. You want people to find one song, they'll see you have other songs on this project. If they like it, they'll say, man, I want to hear these other songs immediately. So you're getting project referrals from your own song. You're making your stuff more findable and you don't really get this from SoundCloud because SoundCloud's not really a visual platform. Even though they have visuals, I don't even personally, and a lot of people don't really look at SoundCloud while they're listening, but YouTube, there's just a tendency to actually watch what you're doing. So how do you max this out before I get into the video of actually walking you through the steps of the setup? Well, one, you want distinct cover art. And a lot of people, you know, these days, they have a good artsy eye, they create something distinct, but you want to use that cover art on every single track of the project. Why? Because you want people to literally, visually be cued and look at the other songs when they show up on the side so they know they are related. You don't have to get too fancy. You want to cover the main thumbnail to be the exact same picture. Once they do that, people will see that there's obviously different names to the project. Then, we know we like to binge. You know you like to binge. They're gonna be like, hey, I like this song. I wanna check out the rest of the songs on this project so I can know if there's something else I want. It's literally that simple and what you get to do after you have your project showing up like this on a page for people to know that there's a full project is promote the hottest song. Because once you promote what you feel to be the hottest song and maybe the second hottest song, whatever order you're choosing the songs, when people click on that song, they're going to now see based on the steps that I'm gonna lead you through in the next video that there is a project for them to check out. If you want to understand even deeper why that's important, watch the five reasons to release a project video. I'll put the link somewhere around here somewhere. Trust me, it will do you big gains if you have something that people actually like to go through this project model. You're making YouTube work for you because someone finds that song, then they see there's other songs somewhere related on the side. They're going to listen to those other songs to see if there are other songs that they like on the project. And then people might say, dang, I like this entire project, which now means I like this artist which means I'm going to share it with other people and I'm probably going to listen more than once as well nothing sweeter than that and it's that simple and it's free as why people don't know about this or why people don't do it I have no idea but now you guys know share it with as many people as possible because I've been trying to get more people to do this you know what to do hit that subscribe button